Well, good morning and welcome to Between the Sundays, episode five, season two. I'm so excited that you're hopping on with us today, whether you're watching uh, on YouTube, whether you're watching on the treadmill or at home, listening online. We're, we're glad that you're here today. I got two special guests with me. I got Pastor Madeline, who hey is our G Kids pastor, uh, and also co-leads young adults with Pastor Carson. Yep. And then I got Garrett Snyder. He, he is the communication and missions director. Uh, got probably the longest title on, on staff <laughs> and also does the most. But I'm Pastor Aaron, the executive pastor of ministries. And again, we're just excited for today, excited for Between the Sundays. Uh, it's a podcast for Between the Sundays, for the Monday through Saturday, uh, Between the Sundays of here at Generations Church. Um, and so today, uh, we're going to look back on the past two weeks. It's been two weeks since episode four. Uh, but look back on the past two weeks, but then also talk about things going on at Generations Church over the past month, but then look ahead as well as we're headed towards Easter. Uh, we're about there at the end of February, a couple more days, kicks off March, and then we're on the road to Easter, which is funny enough, our sermon series coming up. I see what you did there. Yeah, yeah I see. I, you saw what I did. Uh, but the past two weeks, we've been in a series uh, called All That Matters, uh, which kicked off last Sunday with Pastor Carson speaking. Uh, what a phenomenal job he did. Uh, and then I preached actually this past Sunday. Uh, I think I did okay. Uh, they didn't boo me off the stage. <laughs> didn't, I didn't get kicked off the stage. Uh, maybe they'll have me back. Uh, but we talked about all that matters to God and how uh, what matters to God and got specific about that. Uh, we talked about eternity and we talked about people. Uh, we, he, he, Pastor Carson opened the series talking about what mattered to God uh, and it mattered uh, what mattered was eternity and getting people to eternity, uh, but then also having a heart for people. Yeah. And then this last uh, Sunday, I talked about living with significance. Um, basically, Pastor Carson talked about the what, and I talked about the how. Yeah. Uh, serving others passionately, uh, generously giving towards others. So it was a great series. Uh, Garrett, what was probably over the past two weeks, and uh, you don't have to you know, celebrate me at all. Don't, don't focus this on me. We know uh, why you put this in here. <laughs> uh, uh, what was it about this past two weeks sermon series that you really connected with you or you really thought was a great takeaway from this past two weeks? Yeah. I mean, I think just as a church in general, it's important that Pastor Jeremy does a phenomenal job. Um, you know, we, we all collectively kind of, uh, kind of assist with sermon planning throughout the mm -hmm. year and things like that. And when he, when he does speak and the content he delivers and He's a he's an incredible leader for our church, but yeah. I think it's important that you know that we see other people from our pastoral staff mm -hmm. uh, on stage and kind of sharing what God put on their heart. And I'm always excited when we get a chance uh, to do that. So to have you and Carson kind of uh, lead this this series, this two weeks kind of back to back, um, was cool. You know, I, I think it's common to see in, in churches nowadays around the beginning of the year you see some sort of like vision series mm -hmm. uh, that, that kind of start the year off. And, you know, this, I don't know that I would necessarily like refer to this as a vision series, mm -hmm. um, but what it did speak to was just the heart of our church. Yeah, you know, it good. was, it, you know, we, we have core values that we base our church around and, and those are important. We stand on those. They're, they're detrimental to the ministry that we're doing here. Uh, but to take a couple of weeks just to kind of, you know, the how and why, you know, mm -hmm. we kind of um, uh, direct things the way that we do uh, through all the different like ministries here at Generations Church, yeah. just the hearts behind kind of the decisions that we make and the way that we set up uh, our, our, you know, priorities for, uh, you know, making G groups so accessible and um, the the reason why we put so much into our, like, G kids ministries and, and young adults is because, you know, like, we're here to serve people. We want to be a generous church. Yeah. Um, and I think you guys just did a great job of uh, kind of laying out your your week specifically, but then just the two weeks as a whole, like, mm -hmm. it just really like connected and wrapped together. Yeah, you know, I heard a lot of great feedback from people um, after each service on both on both Sundays, just kind of speaking to like it's it's always like refreshing to hear, um, you know, kind of where where our church stands like on these things. Yeah, uh, and I think it just kind of fires people up for like mm -hmm. like just being a part of of this ministry and yeah. what God is doing like through this church, but also just the church as a whole, like in Cherokee County and. Yeah. Um, so it's, it was exciting to see the engagement, the reaction, uh, but you guys did a great job just kind of putting that together. It was mm -hmm. very well thought out, uh, and I think it was it was something our church needed to hear like in the moment. Yeah, I think one thing over this, even over this past month, that has been exciting to me is just the continual week to week people raising their hand for yeah. salvation, yeah, yeah. responding to the message, uh, people raising their hand to take next steps into 
uh, being people that want to live with significance, mm -hmm. uh, people that uh, want to dedicate their life to God. So just continuing seeing week to week, we always give an opportunity for people to raise their hand for salvation, to take a step of faith. That's what uh, one of one one thing you always hear around uh, around Generation Church is we want people to leave here changed, and we want people to leave here challenged. And I think you continually week to week get that each week through the sermon. Like there's, we want, we want life change to happen, but yeah. then we also want to challenge you to like, take a step. Yeah. We want you to take a step and live with significance. We want to take, want to push you to take a step uh, to uh, look at your life. And do we have a heart for people? Do I have a heart for people? Am I living with significance? Am I uh, focused on eternity and, and seeing that as my finish line? Uh, and so I, that's one thing I love about, uh, our church and our sermon content, it really is well planned out. We plan it out uh, months and months in advance for uh, the whole year. So uh, I, I love that. Pastor Madeline, you, you've been doing, uh, there's been a lot of great things happening to G-Kids. I've gone up to G-Kids ministry area a couple times over the past couple weeks, and I'm like, what in the, oh my gosh, what yeah. is going on up here? This it's is a lot of energy. It's a lot of energy in the <laughs> lobby. Uh, it's, it's organized chaos. It's, it's not dog chaos. bowl game yeah. that you love. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was phenomenal. Uh, it's not chaos, organized chaos, but it's organized oh, it a is. lot. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, a ton of fun. My kids have a ton of fun, but you see just like, as you come upstairs, there's an energy in the lobby yeah. that parents are just talking with each other. There's a lot of excitement, yeah. but then there's been a ton of kids. I, I mean, just to see the numbers over the past couple of weeks and months, it's just like steadily grew. Yeah. And you can feel that when you go upstairs. Mm -hmm. But then there's also been a lot of great things happening in, in G-Kids. There's been life change. There's been salvations. Uh, people responding in altar call, like you talked about in our staff meeting yesterday. Uh, but what is it maybe over this past month that has been exciting to you that's been happening in G-Kids? Yeah, yeah. It's been so fun. Um, it really is organized, safe chaos. It is. That's true. <laughs> safe chaos. Um, there but we, go. we have a lot of fun. One of my favorite things last month, though, has been our series. Um, like you guys talked about, you know, like God does use um, what you plan out months in advance to like meet your church or your people where they're at, like mm -hmm. in that season. And it feels like that happens upstairs too with us. And um, our ser series this month has been on kindness. And it was a camping theme, talking about, you know, the idea of camping is really fun. We love talking about camping, and you camping, and it rains, and it's cold, and, yeah. <laughs> you know, you're sleeping on the dirt, and you don't sleep all night. Like, you know, camping is actually a lot harder than sometimes we think that it is talking about it, and mm -hmm. kindness is the same way. Like, you talk about kindness, and you're like, yeah, I love people. Like, I'll be kind to people, but there's those people, you know, that it's really hard to be kind to, and um, our kids have just responded uh, really well to this mm -hmm. series. Um, you know, we make jokes that kids want prayer for their fish that's dying or, you know, their toenail <laughs> that hurts. But, like, <laughs> they, like our kids are going through yeah. really hard things sometimes. Yeah. Um, there's some really tough things that they walk through. And this past week, um, we were just talking about how to be kind to people that are different than us or kind mm -hmm. to people that aren't kind to Sweet. us. And some of the things that these kids were talking about, the people who have hurt them, friends who have betrayed them, um, you know, siblings who are just really mean, you know, sometimes. And uh, we had kids crying. We had kids at the altar praying and, like, genuinely seeking God because they want to be kind to people, like, no matter how those people treat them. They want yeah. to love their enemies well. And so um, just a really cool series and watching these kids go deeper in their faith. Yeah, so. I think uh, I think that's a message even for Sunday morning for downstairs in the yeah. worship center, like, how to be kind to people that aren't kind to you. Yeah. I mean, if you look around our world right now, there's a lot of people that there there's a lot of division. Yeah. And so it's like, how do I look across the aisle or how do I look at someone that's uh, not kind to me and be kind to them yeah. and share the love of God with them and, and show them kindness even when I'm not receiving it? That's a yeah. tough thing yeah. that even adults, like, it's, it's a great thing you're teach, teaching it now because – even as adults. It just gets harder. Yeah, it gets harder. Because oh, the issues get bigger. For sure. And deeper. And so um, I actually stole your object lesson uh, of the closed fist and oh, the open fist in the good. second two services. And it went over really well. We actually, we did it with candy. So yeah. I like gave them a piece of candy and had them close their fist. Mm. And I dropped more candy from above and 
like then I had them open their hands and I said, how much do you have? And they had the two that they had to begin with. Mm. And then I let them keep their hands open and I dropped candy and they had a handful of just so much candy. Mm. And I was like, because we were talking about the Good Samaritan and just yeah. how like the Samaritan gave everything he had to care for this man who like wasn't like him and, and like the Jews weren't kind to the Samaritans, but he gave everything that he had to this man because he was out of kindness. Yeah. And I was like, if you give what you have out of kindness, like, God will bless you. And I'm not going to say you're going to have a million dollars or a ton of candy. But, like, you know, he's going to give you joy. He's going to give you abundance of peace because you're willing to give of your time and your resources and your energy to other people. So yeah, I'll take some candy for stealing my <laughs> illustration. But it's all right. <laughs> That's awesome, Pastor Madeline. I love I love hearing about what's going on in our kids' area, our youth on Sunday nights. Uh, just uh, On Sunday nights, our youth ministry, just the students that are coming, uh, the energy in the, in the room, the friendships that are being built. Uh, the life change that happened. Uh, Pastor Madeline, coming up for G Kids, we're on our road to Easter. Like, we're on our way there. What's happening? Uh, what is it? What is coming up for G Kids for Easter uh, that parents should know about if they're watching yes. right now? Okay, this is big. Very excited about this. Breaking we news. are doing breaking news. G Kids is doing an outreach. So, yes. I'm super excited. Sometimes we don't know how to get our kids involved in missions or local mm. outreach, um, but this is something super easy for you to do as a family. Um, so over the next few weeks, we're going to have bags that you can take home uh, available in our G-Kids room, at our um, check-in desk, and they'll be filled with Easter eggs that are already filled with candy. And there's going to be a flyer inside of each bag that says, you've been egged. And you're going to hide these eggs in a friend's yard. You can go to a sports team friend or a school friend or just a neighbor, anyone that you want um, that doesn't attend our church. And this will invite them to come to Easter Sunday That's to join awesome. us in G Kids. And also just a really fun way to teach the gospel. One of the mm -hmm. eggs is empty. And the flyer says that if you find the empty egg, you know, be the most excited because it's about the empty tomb and Jesus is, a, is alive. So That's cool. Oh, really remind me to give you my address so I can get in on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, free candy. So, yeah, free candy. Uh, that's awesome. That's incredible. So be on the lookout for that. That starts this Sunday? Yep. Awesome. Sunday. That's incredible. Well, we're excited what's happening, G-Kids. But then we're also very expectant and excited for what's to come over this next month in March. Yeah. Uh, we're starting a four-week series. Uh, starting this Sunday, Pastor Jeremy's kicking off called Road to Easter mm -hmm. um, that we're very excited about. We're excited for Easter. We're looking forward to it. Uh, if you're listening right now, be on. start thinking about who can you invite to Easter. Start thinking about uh, a family member or a neighbor or a person on your uh, kid's sports team that you can invite to Easter. Uh, so we're excited for Road to Easter starting this Sunday over the next four weeks. And then we get uh, to March 23rd, so kind of in the middle of that okay. series, uh, and we're at March Madness. So if you're a man watching, uh, this is a conference just for you. Uh, Garrett, tell us a little bit about March Madness really quickly, what to expect, where they can go to uh, register for that, uh, and about yeah. that. So March Madness is just, it's our annual men's event. Um, it's, you know, it's it's for the the men at Generations Church, but it's yeah. it's open to anybody that wants to come. So coworkers, neighbors, mm -hmm. um, just any guys in your life that you feel like would, would enjoy just kind of a night away in fellowship community. It's going to be a ton of fun. We've got uh, Pastor J.C. Worley from Let's Go know. Church coming up to speak. Okay. It's it's okay. If it's anything okay. like he usually does, it's going to be incredible. Yeah, uh, He's a lot of fun, a lot of energy. So it's, it's going to be a good time. We're going to have great food, games, giveaways. There's going to be putting greens mm -hmm. uh, in the lobby. We're going to have March Madness on a bunch of different TVs yeah. uh, to view. And it's just a time for us to kind of get away from, like, the day-to-day -day kind of, uh, you know, work and yeah um you know baseball practice all that kind of stuff yeah and, yeah. Uh, and just hang out with the guys and just and, and just have that community and uh we, you know we think it's important it's it's you know we, we have woven mm -hmm. um once a year as well our women's event and um you know although we find that you know churches you know this it's meant for family you know mm -hmm. like and we we create those moments and that's important um but uh, it's, it's important as well just to kind of get away like in our kind of individual yeah. groups and, and experience yeah. like that together so it's gonna be a ton of fun march 23rd you can you can find out more info you can register at g dot church under the events tab uh, on the church center app yeah uh, as well but get signed up quick you know we, we always joke around like our, our group is you know especially the men yeah you know, they uh <laughs> they wait to the last minute to get signed last up. minute but uh it's gonna be a blast man I, I would really encourage you to to get signed up uh and you know send the link out to, yeah. to friends and, and family and, and neighbors and stuff and 
uh, and join us. It's going to be a good time. Yeah, it's going to be a great Wives, time. you can sign your men up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> do it for yeah. them. Yeah. 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 Hey, Put ladies, yeah. you're invited yeah. to sign your men up because yeah. they're not going to do it. Yeah, we, we know who really signs yeah. them up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I said at my men's breakfast this morning that if a husband dedicates their life, like gives their life to Jesus, there's a not, the statistics have shown in the past that it's a ballpark around 90% of the uh, of 90%, 90% of their family, uh, 90% of the time, sorry, uh, the rest of the family will give their life to Jesus. So, yeah. men, it's important that you, uh, you know, live for God, but yeah. then also uh, get together with other men and do life together, build community, uh, and, and seek God together. So we're excited about that. Uh, Easter week, we have a lot planned for Easter yeah. week. Good Friday, of course, on a Friday. Uh, we're going to have two service times, 5 and 6.30. Uh, so we're going to send those out. Uh, they'll be able to sign up for those. Am I correct? Or yep. am I wrong? Okay. They'll be able to register for those and save yourself a seat for that. Uh, come to the table. It's always a great night on Good Friday. Yeah, it's two identical services. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Child care is available for preschool and below, but elementary is with us. I'm very excited. Let's go. And then Easter, we have four services. So we're going to have a sunrise service at 7. Uh, and then we're going to have three identical services, 8, 15, 9, 30, and 11. Yep. I love the sunrise service. Yeah. But it this m- coming month, I'm very excited and expectant of, of what's to come, of the, the new faces that are going to come in our building, of the life change that's going to happen. Um, and so I'm thankful for, for y'all. I'm thankful for each one of y'all, of what y'all do on a week-to-week basis, uh, communications, local and global missions, uh, uh, opening the facility to, to partnering with uh, local schools and HOA meetings and so on and so forth, but then our G kids, young adults, uh, and what God's doing in our kids' ministry, to see the baptisms that happened uh, last month on Baptism Sunday, uh, the, the salvation and baptism class, but then also what's going on upstairs in G kids and in young adults as well. Uh, but we're excited for, for what's to come. We're thankful that you're online with us. Uh, share with us, like this. Uh, and share with your friends between the Sundays, episode five. We hope that you have a great day and God bless.